Okay, I'd like to run through three slides here. Um, we'll just title this uh, Introduction to Hyperbolas. So a hyper this is the geometric definition. A hyperbola is the set of all points in a plane, the difference of whose distances from two fixed points is constant. And if that sounds familiar to you, if you were to replace the word hyperbola with ellipse and the word difference with sum, you've got the geometric definition of an ellipse. So let's try to make some sense out of this. The two fixed points they're referring to, of course, are called the foci. We call this F1, F2. F1, F2, the foci, they are not on the ellipse. They just kind of are used to generate the ellipse. Um, a point on the ellipse, such as this one, may help us have a better understanding if we view this um, in terms of a diagram. It says that the the difference of the distances between our two fixed points. So if I call this distance 1, D1, and I call this distance D2, we're talking about D1 minus D2. That's the difference of the distances between two fixed points. But this goes on to say all of the distances, or all the points, the difference of their distances between our two fixed points are equal. For instance, let's call this D3 and D4. Okay. Therefore, D1 minus D2 must be equal to, I'll take the longer of those, D3 minus d4. That's really come to life what the what the geometric definition is telling us there. Um, any points on the hyperbola, the difference of the distances between those points is constant, between the fixed points is constant. Let's look at one specific point. Let's look at this point right here, which is a vertex. So I'd be talking about this distance and this distance. If I subtract those two, notice I could take this part right here. If I would take that distance right there and subtract it from the remainder of the green line, it would be like taking, cutting this part out. So not only is the difference constant, but D1 minus D2 or D3 minus D4, or the difference of any of the two, D1 minus D2, isn't just constant, but it's the distance between the vertices. And as you'll see later on, we call that distance 2A. So a little bit misleading is that it just says is constant. Can we pick some constant? Well, we can, but that constant is in fact the distance between the two vertices. That becomes pretty important for us. Okay, so here let's talk about our parts of the hyperbola in terms of this A we just mentioned. This, of course, would be our center. These we already mentioned are our foci, perhaps foci 1, foci 2, or focus 1, focus 2, excuse me. This distance, if you were paying close attention, is A. And this mysterious little distance is B, which we'll talk about momentarily. And our center, the coordinates of our center, are referred to as H. K. And you'll notice in just a moment here as we move on, A, B, H, and K are instrumental. Those are four of the five things we need to know to come up with an equation of a hyperbola. We'll talk about the fifth in just a moment. Okay, so here they are. Here's our H, K. That is the center. Here's where our A pops up. That is the distance from the center to a vertex. Here's our B. That's this, what I referred to as a mysterious little value. Uh, it helps us come up with our asymptotes. And then 
There's a C value that we'll talk about soon as well, but at this time right now, that's not instrumental in our, not directly instrumental in our equation. Now, the fifth thing we need to know isn't necessarily that C. We need to know H, we need to know K, we need to know A, we need to know B, and we have to have a direction. Does our hyperbola open to the right and left, or does it open up and down? And that is entirely based on how the equation works out. In this case of the first equation here, my first term is positive. My x's are positive, which means this is going to open in an x direction, and that's the positive term is put over a. A is not necessarily bigger than B. In fact, they could be equal, A could be smaller than B, A could be larger than B, All right? Now, in this case, the Y is the positive term. Therefore, we put, we call what's underneath it A squared, and our hyperbola, as you can see, opens up and down. So, pretty nice introduction into our hyperbolas there.